All right, in today's video, we're going to do something different. We are going to try to go back and put one of the rigs on solo mining on the Zerg pool, mining the Ghost Rider algorithm. I'd done this about a couple of years ago. And uh, once, once I hit, I think once or twice, I hit a block and about 50 bucks, came out to 50 bucks Bitcoin. Not bad. But uh, the risk you take is you're running your hardware with the hope, the hopium, that you're going to hit a block instead of just letting them run and accruing, accruing, accumulating uh, crypto as you go. So what are we doing? Right now, crypto mining is pretty, pretty far down on my rigs. Uh, we have... 29 cents on a Ryzen 9 3900X. This is a running against NiceHash, a uh, random X Monero algorithm. Uh, this is after electricity cost. So before electricity cost, you can see the breakdown, 56 cents. Take out my electricity cost, and it comes to 29 left over. So I pretty much shut them down right now. I took my wallet balance on NiceHash, moved it over to my hard wallet. So now I own that, what was, I can't remember how much it was, 375 I made in two months. At the time I moved, it was 375, $4 transaction fee to move it over. So I lost four bucks there. And uh, now it's in my wallet, hopefully safe and secure, keep those hackers, those scammers. Uh, yeah, and all those attacks, uh, address spoofing, man in the middle, all that crap away. Keep them away from my Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and uh, I haven't done this again in two years. We're going to go and show you how I used to do solo mining and uh, something maybe you guys want to try and play with. Why not? It's fun. It's a hobby. And it uh, actually helps educate yourself on how this whole, how this whole crypto ecosphere uh, is kind of set up and how it works. It just gives you better knowledge instead of just, you know, nice hash is great. I love it. It's simple. It's the way from going from my old days of hands on in the, in the weeds, mining and everything. Nice hash is the way to go. But if you want to experiment, there are, there are other options. So we do not need this nice hash page up. Let's get rid of that. You can see it is down. It is down, but Bitcoin is up. It's at 43,000. Let's look at that real quick. I always got to look at the old Bitcoin. Oh, those are dividends. Don't look at those. That's not important right now. Bitcoin, 43,000. And one of the ETFs is up a buck. I got it at 41, so I'm still down. Who cares, right? It'll go up. All right, let's close that. Let's see. What you need to do with ZergPool. It is Zerg. Oh, my God, I clicked on it. Come on. ZergPool.com. And all you got to do is you can have a wallet, whatever you're mining to. Uh, the background here is whatever you're mining to, whatever coin you're getting paid out in is the key. That is the address you need to have set up. If you're getting paid out in a Raptorium, you need to have a Raptorium wallet set up, an address, right? If you're getting paid out in Bitcoin, like right here, you're going to need to have a Bitcoin address set up, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll show you how to do that, but it's all explanatory in their page. It's, it's an engineering page. It's a, not a super user-friendly page, but it's great. It gives you all the information you need. It takes a little bit to get used to it, but it's all good to go. So let's see. Let's go to home. I'll point you in the right direction, give you enough uh, information on how to fish, not give you the fish. Go through this stuff. It shows you how to set up the miner, and I'll even show you my miner. I'll be a good guy here. Show you my miner. Ooh, nice ash is partnered. Interesting. I need to figure out what the partnership is. I think NiceHash might be using the Zerg pool to do some of their mining. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. All right, let's go over to Wallet again. So I have nothing so far. I haven't run this yet. We're going. We're doing this. Uh, we're going. We're doing this unscripted. We're just going to go through and try and see if I can remember how I did this. So first step is get your address. Just mine the Bitcoin. Keep it simple. All coins are pain in the butt. Trying to find an exchange to sell them on, moving them. It's just, just go to Bitcoin. It's easier. And you can go any exchange, dump it or put it in your wallet and hold it until it goes to the moon. And then you can uh, pay your house off, right? Who knows? Maybe not. 
or you could lose everything. You just don't know. All right, so depending on your hardware, let's we're assuming you're a CPU guy, but you can see the types over here. You see where I'm pointing, guys? You see where I'm pointing with the with the circle of truth? Is uh, it tells you the type of hardware this algorithm on the left will accept. So you got GPUs, ASICs. I'd stay away from ASICs. If I mean, if you something with ASIC as well, stay off because the ASIC is going to take all the hash. You're not going to get anything. There's a CPU. We got CPU power, blah, blah, blah. There's GPU, CPU, and GPU it takes. And then there's just CPU. Let's go with Ghost Rider. I know Ghost Rider. Let's go with that one. But you, you get the gist, right? You see what I'm doing here? It tells you the type of hardware. Uh, that hard, that uh, tells the type of hardware that algorithm will accept and you can mine again. So Ghost Rider, what you can do is click on Ghost Rider. First of all, it tells you how many mine, miners are out there right now and how many solo miners. There's only 322, which is, eh, that's not that great. Tells you the hash rate, et cetera, et cetera. You can go see the current estimate, the 24 hour estimate, and the actual estimate on profitability. I think you could even, let's do this. Let's mess around. We're having fun. Uh, no, no, let's do the actual. Let's see what the highest ones are. Of course, the highest ones is an ASIC. Let's keep going down to the first CPU one. Oh, X20R. That's, oh man, there's nobody mining that. That makes me nervous. See, there's no one mining it, so skip it. Something's wrong. Uh, Minotaur X. Oh, I remember this one. I remember, what the heck was that one? I remember that algorithm. I mined that long, long time ago. Before the dark times. All right, let's keep going. Kapow. Oh my, we're still going down. Meme hash. Jeez, oh man. Let's kill. Wow, we're really dropping down. Where is Ghost Rider on this list? It is hard to see some of this stuff as you scroll through. Ghost Rider. Oh, there's Mike. Mike's got 57 miners. Oh my God. What are some of these things? Uh, yes, Power Lightning CG. What is, I haven't heard. Some of these are new. Yes, script I've heard. Uh, a bunch of GPUs. CPU is script in two. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, all right, these are all ASIC GPUs. Where's our little friend, the Ghost Rider? Yeah, look at the big jump. 4,000, 4,500 uh, miners, 322 solo. Yes, power is right behind it. Pretty, pretty close in profitability. They got five coins in Yes, power. So in an algorithm, there could be multiple coins built upon that algorithm. In Yes Power's case, there's five. In uh, Ghost Rider's case, there's 24. Now all you gotta do is click on this row. We'll look at the coins. Here are the 24 coins. I'm just giving you all this back information so when you see my batch script to run the miner, you'll understand what I'm doing. So what we have here is this. These are all the coins that go against the Ghost Rider algorithm. You can pick one of these coins or you can pick all of these coins. And when you pick all the coins in your miner, it's gonna pick the most profitable one to mine against. It's actually that smart. Uh, what you can do too is look at profits here. If you click on profit, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's see, let's do profit. So I did the wrong one there. The highest is listed first. I think I did that right. Oh, let me see. Zero, zero, four, zero. Wow, it changed since I came in here last. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I did this wrong. There's BitTorrent, Where's, why did it drop so much? Holy smackaroos, that really changed. What happened? So if you look at profit, zero, zero, four. Reaction coin is number one is profitability, if I'm reading that right. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if that is actually correct. And it gives you the, um, it gives you the uh, reward. You, if, you, if you mine in it directly and get paid in reaction coin, you get, the, uh, you get this much reward. RTC is, the, is a ticker symbol for better lack of a definition. FSC for uh, F Society. And of course, popular Raptorium, RTM. Uh, Bittorium is in here somewhere. I just saw it. That's a BTRM, I think. Yeah, BTRM. And you can see the hash rate. 
So this is odd that these other coins are very profitable. So uh, I'll show you what I can do there. Uh, so this gives you an idea. So pick, a, pick an algorithm, you see the coins, and you can start mining against those coins. Yeah, interesting. I, I'm gonna maybe, oh, we should do, we should, let's just solo mine first. And then uh, I'll show you, maybe I'll turn in a second rig on where it's not solo mining. All right, so this is the back information, the coin, I mean, the algorithm with the coins, you have your wallet address because I recommend just getting paid in Bitcoin. And up here in this window, you'll see all the activity. So, all right, let's get to it. I am using XM rig. In this case, oh my God, I don't know what version I had. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one, this version might, yeah, 6.17. It's not. The newer one I did put into the nice hash plugin directory, I think it's 6.21. But the uh, actual one I'm running standalone is version 6.17. That's fine. No big deal. So what you do, this is all explained on the uh, Zerg pool main page on how to set this up. And it'll tell you, you can pick the miner. It, it's very self-explanatory, but you can use my example as well. If you want to use my address as well, that's great. I'll take your money. <laughs> you can put it into my wallet. I don't mind. So what I do, I'm going to do XM rig. That's on my local Windows box. The dash A is the algorithm. GR is the abbreviation for Ghost Rider, which is the algorithm, which uh, the coins, Raptorium, Bitorium, et cetera, all 24 coins I listed use that algorithm. Uh, dash O is the mining pool. Boom, boom, boom. It gives you that on the uh, Zerg pool site. There's other pools out there. I just use Zerg pool because I have experience with it. Uh, there's other ones out there I can show you as well, but just, I don't know, Zerg pool is a great place to start. Uh, the port number as well gives you the port number. And if you're using a SSL, there is a secured port as well. And you'll probably change something out for, I forget what you put out front. Oh, I forget it's SSL or TIA, I can't remember. But uh, I don't use the encryption on it, but you can. So it gives you a port number for that. But yeah, make sure your port number is accurate based on what you're doing on the actual address here. U is your mining wallet address, boom, right there. And then you can actually do a dot notation and give it the name of your rig. So it'll show up upper right here. If you leave it blank, I forget what it does. It makes up something, but you can put dot Timmy's mining rig, Timmy's solo rig, whatever you want to call it right here. Dash P is a placeholder. Usually for the password, you just put dash P. I don't even think it picks it up. Now C is where the goodness happens. Uh, this pass part, oh, dash P, duh. Dash P, everything following it, it's, so everything following a dash P is picked up as the parameters. Sorry, so dash P matters. Uh, so dash P, now the following string is gonna tell Zerg pool how to mine this thing. So C equals BTC. Coin being paid out as Bitcoin, BTC. That's what that means, C, the coin to be paid out as. If you wanna get paid out as Raptorium, you could put RTM. I think you can even put Dogecoin here if you wanna get paid out of Dogecoin. Basically what they're doing is mining, whatever you're mining, the, that algorithm, as they do on NiceHash, they're mining the X Monero, a Monero, whatever it is. They're mining the Monero algorithm and they're converting it to Bitcoin. They're doing a transaction. They're, you're gonna get a little fee involved with that. Same here, they're gonna mine Ghost Rider and you want to get paid in Bitcoin or Doge, there's a conversion fee to go to that coin. And then they convert it and they put it right up here in your wallet and you'll see it. So that's what that does. You're telling it, I want to mine Ghost Rider algorithm, right? I'm going to mine that guy and I want you to pay me in Bitcoin. And there's fees. You're using a service. You're going to pay fees. That's just the way it is and it's no problem. What we're doing here next uh, parameter is M. Basically mode, you could say. And I say solo, if you want to solo mine, this is a risk. You're just going to run in the hopes you're going to hit a block. It's the hopium. You may not hit anything. Therefore, you paid electricity costs for a whole week and got nothing. So that's something to consider. All right, that's what that means, solo. If you don't want to mine solo, just remove the M equals solo. Take that out. MC, the mine coins. These are the coins you want to mine. There are 24 listed in that algorithm. So I can go back here. I might add the top ones, unless they changed it. I'm, I, I was, 
under the impression years ago I had to put each coin and it would pick the most profitable coin. I don't think there's a wild card you can use, but oh, we might as well. We're here. Let's check. I oh, mean, we're here. Let's learn this together. They might not even have that on the same page. Ah, target coin region. You pick your region. See that North America algorithmic rhythm. Oh my God, where is it? Ghost Rider payout currency. See how I'm building this string? Look at this. This is so nice and easy. Even a caveman could do it. Oh, look at that. It gives you all the coins. Oh my God. So I don't have to type these. Watch this. This is kind of annoying, but I'm going to, this is, if this does this for me, I can cut and paste. The less typing Crypto Jim has to do, the happier Crypto Jim is. That stupid name, Crypto Jim. Oh my God. Um, every time I say Crypto Jim, you have to take a shot of bourbon. All right. Do, do, stand by. We're doing every one. What I'm doing is this is every coin, all 24 that use the Ghost Rider algorithm. Woo! Look at that. So it pretty much built everything in my miner has, right? Oh, I can do solo. What's party? I haven't done party. Whoa, party might be interesting. Whatever you guys are into, whatever you're into. Did it. <laughs> It kind of, where'd it go? Oh my God. Oh yeah, see it put the M equals solo one. I don't really, I don't want to do that. I just want to cut and paste that string. I want this yummy goodness right here. Does that have Raptorium? Yes. All right, let's grab this. Can I do this? All right, hold on. Cut and paste is difficult with this old GUI. Oh my God. I'm gonna, sh ah. oh. all right. Hold on, I'm getting rid of this M equals, oh, it actually built that for me. All right, I can't really get rid of that. Let's copy. Let's go back to my miner. Do, 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 Oh, it slashes. Is that right? I'm going to push it on a new line just so I don't screw this up. Eh, who cares? No guts, no glory. Sometimes you just got to do it. Watch this not work. Woohoo! I don't want that M equal slow, though. That just was a residual. Turd, turd is gone. What am I doing here? All right, what are we doing? MC mine coin. I selected all the coins in the Ghost Rider algorithm. It did say, this is two years ago, I read this. It'll go out. You have all these coins. It's going to pick the most profitable coin to mine at the time. So, you know what? Um, just to see it working, let's take off the solo bit for a bit, a second here. What I do is typing is very annoying for me. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it. I'm going to comment this out. I just took out the solo bit. I'm going to run this. I'm going to save it. There's my Zerg pool. So I named my files after just so I can look at them and see what I'm doing. So here, I'll show you. Oh my God, where is it? That's not it. So I call it all Ghost Rider. So all coins, Ghost Rider algorithm, which mining pool, what am I getting paid out? And this one's solo, but you, you saw I'm just going to do a test real quick. Uh, here's my other ones, man. You can do, let's see, Minificeal was a pool. I think that's gone now. Our plant is a mining pool. R P L A N T. Uh, Supernova is a mining pool. They're everywhere. You just gotta look. All right, so we got this little guy. We have our XM rig. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back here. Let's go to the wallet. Do, 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 do. And I'm getting paid in Nats. Let's go back to my miner. So XM rig is right there. And to double check, go to properties, go to compatibility, and you want to make sure that's checked. Run as pro run this program as an administrator. Got it? Got it. Ah. All right. Do, 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 do. And I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna click on it. Yeah, it's gonna ask me. I do. 
want you to run that way. And let's see what happens here. Let's see if it errors out. All right, so right now you can see it's going to the Ghost Rider, North America, Mining Pool, Zerg Pool on my port, 5354. You got that? See what I looked at there? Ghost Rider, NA for North America. So now you can double check everything. The first time you're doing this, I hear my fan spinning up on the CPU. You probably hear that background noise. Just on one rig, one Ryzen 9 3900X. Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, double check everything as it comes up. You know, you got your 3900. You're not getting that MSR mod error. Check your memory. Oh, I got 2400s on that. I should up. Eh, I'm not buying memory. All right. So I got DD4, DDR4 memory, eight gigabytes each, 16 total at 2400 megahertz each. Not shabby, but not great, right? Not too bad. And it's a CL14 memory, I think. I hope that's right. I'm trying to read it real quick. It should be. If it's not, eh. You can buy that now. I think it's two sticks, six, eight gigabytes each, 16 total, or about 70 bucks on McAmazon. So, yeah. All right, what am I doing? We are mining. So now what happens? It's going out to the pool, right? Your little miner's out there chugging away, a little choo-choo train. You can go over to the pool. It's going to take a little bit for it to pop up on the, ah, on the Zerg pool. It will pop up right here. Mining activity on that address. Total workers, Z, zero. So we're going to wait for it to pop up together. So, so what are you guys up to? How's your week going? Good, good, good to hear. All right, we're going to just keep this going. I just want to see this thing start churning on some numbers. And then all you got to do, if you want to solo mine, we'll do it. We'll do it in a minute. I don't want it to edit this pause out, but what else can we do? Uh, let's see. So far, you have enough ammunition I've given you to set up a rig, a laptop, or whatever. And you can use your GPUs. If you have a GPU on a laptop or your computer, you can use the GPU as well. You just have to go over here, pick the algorithm you want to mine against that has a GPU for the type, and you're good to go. Verishash, for example, you can mine your CPU and GPU against it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to sort this. I have this Pulsar coin I'm staking. I have no idea if that thing is even active. I don't even see it. Oh, is it even alive yet? I know, I gotta look into that. That's another video. I got this Pulsar coin I'm staking. I don't even know if it's even still around. P, I see pi, 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 P. I don't think it's even out here. I'm not seeing it. If anybody knows about Pulsar coin, let me know in the comments below what the status of that is, if it's anything. Because I am getting a lot, of um, a lot of staking rewards, but zero, getting zero something of zero value is still zero. So I'm getting zero stuff. <laughs> I'm, accum I'm accumulating zeros. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, little worker. And you always go back as you're waiting. Uh, you can always kill some time. Go back, check your address. Yes, that is correct. The mining rig should come up as the old Rakutaku number seven. Yeah, it should. And let's see. Come on, big daddy. I don't know what the latency is on this. I don't see a refresh either. I think it does auto refresh. But like I said, it's a pretty... Pretty basic engineering website, which is fine. It works. And once you get used to it, you're good to go. Um, all right. Address, address. Miners. We'll click around. Oh, those are all the miners out there. Different versions. Oh, I'm gonna look at it. You want to see who's using which miners? Look at that. XM rig is pretty popular. Wow. XM rig is popular on the ARM. 6 uh, 1.17 XM rig 621 is the latest. I got to upgrade this site then. If this works, I might upgrade my XM rig here on this rig, a standalone. Again, I did it for the nice hash plugin. I put it in the folder, but I didn't upgrade the standalone uh, XM rig version I run 
outside a nice hash. SRB miner's popular. CPU miner. Look at that. XM rig for the win, big daddies. Woo! Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wallet. Look at that. Look at that. What are we looking at? <laughs> Something happened. I just lost my track here. Uh, we got... Oh, here we are. So, see what happened? My worker showed up like a good little guy. He is uh, running... Look, XM rig 617. Here is my command line, my parameter line in the batch file that I kicked off for XM rig. Coin is Bitcoin. Mine coins are this. Ghost Rider. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's see. And it's going to tell you it's now mining SUBI because that appears to be. Oh, that appears to be the most profitable coin in that algorithm at the current time. Yeah, there we go. So all this is going to do is just keep running and running and running. And let's go look at that. It's called. Oh, it's, it seems it's not, what's down here. I wonder if I click on this, what happens? Subi. You go to that coin. You can see all the current uh, blocks that were paid out. 1500 1500 boom 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 who found the blocks etc block time i'm curious let's go back to wallet and let's go look at the ghost rider where is ghost rider if you click on ghost rider and you click on so i wonder if that updated hold on there's no refresh I know I picked this one for example. So it's mining this one right now. But they're all pretty close. 410, 419, 420. So it just said, ah, let's go with Subi. So probably it'll flip on and off to different coins. It might go to Maxiter, OSIN, trying to get you the best profit, profitability on all of those coins in that algorithm and then eventually pay you out in Bitcoin. All right, all well and good, right? So now you're, uh, you're, you're accumulating your balance here in Bitcoin. The uh, payment threshold is 0 0.0015 Bitcoin. And it's uh, 0 0.0015 Bitcoin on Sunday late evening is the estimated network tech, uh, TX fee. All right. So the payment threshold, you have to get about, I think, what is that? Whatever 0 0.0015 Bitcoin is. Is that like, I don't know. What is that? 50 bucks. I guess you can go look. Who knows? But once you, read the, once you reach the threshold, then it'll pay it out to your wallet automatically, right? So you don't have to let it just sit there. You never really want to leave your mine profits uh, on any exchange, even the mining pool. Get those things off whenever it can. And in this way, this is automatic. This is automatically done. So when it hits the threshold, boom, <coughs> it'll get sent over to your wallet. Oh, so look at this. It's now starting to, it's changed. So now I went to Maxiter. So you see how this is working, dudes? I picked all the coins and it's flipping between the most profitable coins and mining accordingly. So what I can do, let me show you this. It's going to keep doing that. Let's now, if I go into here and uh, let's do this. Where is it? Oh, XM rig. I think I just control C. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I got an invalid job. I hate that. Control C. All right, I killed it. Let's go comment this out. Now my fans are spinning down. Boom. And I got this M equals solo. We're going to uncomment this guy. Boom, boom. Uh, we're going to save it. We're going to go over here. Now we are truly a solo guy. Let it rip. And let's give it a minute to go. Do, do, and should echo solo in here somewhere. Let's look together. Look for the word solo. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. I don't see it. Permission granted. All right. It's the same old stuff. All right. Things are spinning back up. 
And let's let it go for a minute or two. Let's go over to Zerg Pull again. Kablamo. What you're going to see now, this was running mining normal operations, right? Non solo mode. So nothing was said here. Now it started up again. You'll get a new line here, and it's going to say, you can see that M equals solo. And over here on this column, you're going to see solo and then the hash rate for that. I know, we have to wait. I think what else we're gonna show you. Ooh, they got a bunch of stuff in here. What's exchanges? Ah, oh, this is kind of new. It's a new page they put out there. So what is this? Here's the coin. And you can kind of see which exchanges can actually handle it. Uh, let's see, let's look up the dreaded Raptorium. Where is it? Oh man, it's just probably just so much crap to find. Even though it's not even. Hold on, where is Raptorium? All right, let's do Ravencoin. Boom! You can see which which sites. You got two. Zagx and Coinx are active on Ravencoin, right? So you gotta you gotta think about that too. If you're gonna mine one of these little turd altcoins, right? You gotta think, well, what exchange do I need to use if I do wanna exchange it to Bitcoin or, or just sell it? Uh, that's why I figured just mine the coin on the Zerg pool and then get paid in Bitcoin and be done with it. And then you can uh, move your Bitcoin, which it's done automatically to your wallet and uh, cut down on all those transaction fees, transfer fees, all that crap. Just pay the fee that, um, Zerg pull once when they take your mine coin and convert to Bitcoin, and then you'll pay a little bit of fee when it uh, transfers it over to your wallet on your laptop, etc. Your uh, soft wallet or hard wallet, whatever, whatever address you're using. Do not put your money on an exchange. Do not put your uh, deposit address on an exchange. Never, 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 never. You don't believe me? Look at the Voyager. Look at the Black Fi. Look what happened there. Boom! People lost a lot of money. This guy just locked it down and took all your freaking crypto criminals. All right, I got out in time. Thank God. I think I lost maybe thirty bucks that was just in rewards that were paid later that month. So, man, no big sweat. Lesson learned. It's almost like these uh, government freezing your bank accounts now. It just it's, crap is getting out of hand. All right, big daddies. Here we go. All right, so here you see in this column, here's what the hash rate is for solo mining. This one is a residual from when I was just running without solo mining. You can kind of see what it's doing. It's just kind of getting out there going, okay, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna sit on this coin, I'm gonna sit on this coin, I'm gonna try to solo mine this guy and see if I can hit a block. And when you hit a block, you're gonna see it. Oh, where does it do it? Last blocks found on that address right here. This is empty right now because I don't have anything. I just started, right? You got to give it some time. Give it some time. Be patient. And once you do that, once you give it some time, you'll start seeing, oh, hey, I'm mining regularly without solo mining. You're going to see, boom, I got this much. I got this much. I shared this much. And if you're doing solo mining, if you hit one of those blocks, it's going to show up right there. All right, Crypto Jim, how much block do you get if you mine solo? Okay. Let's go find Ghost Rider. Oh my god, where is Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider. Well, it's just funny. That's a good question. Here's your reward. If you hit, if you're solo mining on, and it's picking the Keto, and you hit, you're going to get 2,000 Nick. Is that N-I-K-I? -I? Nikki. You're going to get 2,000 Nikki. She better be cute. No. You're going to get 2,000 Nikki if, you're, if it happens to be solo mining because it's the most profitable in Raptorium. You're going to get 3675 Raptorium. Boom. And then what it's going to do, as it accumulates, it's going to take it and put it up here and convert it to Bitcoin. You're going to see your balance go accordingly. Yeah, so it's out there churning. You know what I'm going to do? Oh my God, I, I don't want to waste electricity, but oh, you know what? Yeah, here's my line, right? XM rig, I'm going to upgrade this. And you can see my, there's my solo. So this is the latest version of my XM rig running. 
And I'm going to go, I don't know. I'm going to leave. Uh, let's do two. Two. I'm going to set it up so I got two rigs mining solo. And I got two rigs mining normal. And then we'll revisit it in a couple days and see what the hell happened. Uh, if anything. Right? Right. Ah, the pain is. You got to commit. The reason you gotta commit is because you have to meet a minimum payment threshold. So if you're gonna if you're gonna mech around, mess around, and just do this for a little bit, and maybe get say you get ten bucks in Bitcoin, you're not gonna get that off because you gotta meet the threshold. So therefore, you gotta keep mining until you meet that threshold. So you gotta commit. But if you hit a block, you may get that fifty bucks. Boom, one fell swoop, you're done. It's it's speculation. It's gambling. That's I'm just trying to put that out there. You're not gonna be able to take your ten bucks off and go buy an ice cream cone. So you got to meet that threshold and hold, you know, hold the line and keep mining for a bit. So, yeah, that's that's the only that's that's a negative right there. But just showing you what's out there, how to fish, how to go forth and do this stuff, how do I set it up, uh, upgrade your upgrade the versions of your mining rigs. That's always a good first step. I'm going to go do that now. And I think I'm going to run. You know what? It's almost thinking about it. If you're going to have to meet a minimum threshold. And profitability is down anyway. Why not just go all in and put like four rigs on solo mining and see if you hit and then you're boom, you're done. You can get out. You don't have to wait. You may not hit anything. So what's the logic? You know, you divide and conquer or you say, ah, just put all, put, put four rigs on there and let it rip for, for a couple of days and no loss, right? That way you really haven't accumulated anything. You just burned electricity. But if you do hit, you probably broke the threshold if you hit a block. And you can just cash out or go to your wallet automatically. And you're, you, know, you keep doing it or you're done. So it's a good experiment. All right, four rigs, solar mining. We'll be back later with a report. Hope this helped. Hope this was informative. Uh, that's how I do it. Probably, probably better ways to do it. Probably worse ways to do it. This is how it works. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Out.